And you know, the luxury of, or I would say the unluxury of being the first, you have to break the path. And uh, John Cooper at the uh, Ted Stevens Research Center had to go through that. Let's see, do I need a DEC permit? I'm only putting back colder water. Doesn't that help ocean acidification and doesn't that help the environment? And people at the bureaucracy are scratching their head going, yeah, I guess you're right. So yes, we do need to fill out some permits, but we're actually uh, environmentally beneficial. Uh, and so uh, we do have the luxury of, of following in the footsteps of, of especially the Ted Stevens and the uh, Alaska Sea Life Center. And they are fully permitted and they have gone through those things. And then the gallons per minute issue, uh, although um, we could expand the gallons per minute. And I don't really want to get into the exact numbers right now because it depends on how far and how much we want to build up the heating district. But the Gassanaw Channel is a wealth of resource. And so it's there and it's there for Juneau and we believe that it will, it will uh, be there forever. And so it's just a matter of tapping that in and extracting that solar heat. So uh, there's a bountiful resource uh, existing right now, right off probably 300 feet from us. But thanks, George. When you have a 300% efficient technology, it does help you pay for the infrastructure and the cost that you need. And I will say that the conversion costs are low. For example, if you run a pipe into the state office building, you do not need to remove that boiler system. That boiler system stays in place. You take a valve and you put it onto a heat exchanger. That heat exchanger then goes into the boiler, the, the hot water tank, and it pumps through the system. Now you have a redundant system. So there is not a conversion cost where you're ripping out and replacing the existing boiler or heating system. You're actually redundant it, which everybody loves energy security. You know, when, when the lights go out, you like to have a, a Toyo or whatnot. I mean, Juno's built on redundancy, and this just adds to that redundancy factor. The other thing is, is that we remove price volatility. I mean, anybody sitting in this room today that would have guessed that oil was going to be at the price it was three years ago or two years ago, you know, you're probably should be working someplace where you're making a million bucks because you're spot on, you know. I mean, the reality is, is that commodities change and commodities are impacted. What if you could buy gasoline today, which you paid it for 50 years ago? That's the transformation that we're bringing. We've reduced that volatility because once that thing is in place, that electricity is going to come out of, the, out, of our, out of our local hydropower facilities. It's going to be used on a one unit in and a three units out. And that cost has been stabilized and we've reduced the price shock and the volatility for our community indefinitely into the future. The question was is about the piping technology. How do we get it to the buildings and how do we get it to the residences and if we would need to uh, uh, tear up the streets? The main trunk lines are about a four inch pipe diameter with insulation around them. They can be run underneath of our docks and tie into all of our downtown so you don't need to tear up any streets. The other thing is because it's not a volatile fluid or volatile liquid, you can actually directionally drill from basement to basement without introducing fire risk from one building to another. And so you can directionally drill in the appropriate locations to go from basement to basement, which a lot of downtown you can even run underneath the, the tide pilings. But there will be some requirement to run, you know, and tear up some street or some, some sidewalk to put this in. Now, connecting to the buildings or your homes will be a much smaller diameter pipe. And those will be um, spider webbed off of the, uh, off the trunk line. And there will be some incursion cost into uh, uh, run, running like a water line, but it's, but it's, but it's a, a much smaller, smaller uh, process. So thank you very much.